Welcome back to my channel. We are going to make Indian butter chicken today. If you have never had it, it's a very rich chicken with a very thick buttery sauce full of spices. As you can tell, look at all these spices on this plate that we are going to marinate the chicken with. I have about a pound of chicken tender here and I cut them into a half of an inch size. And we are going to marinate it with half cup of buttermilk. Let's get started. Here are the spices. We have a one tablespoon of minced ginger, two teaspoon of garam masala. I think that's how you say it. One teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin, and one teaspoon of red hot chili pepper, and one teaspoon of salt. So let me just pour everything in. And after I get each piece of the chicken with good seasoning, I'm going to pour in the buttermilk. And the ideal time to marinate the chicken is at least 30 minutes to an hour. If you want to do it overnight, definitely it's a great idea. Okay, this is the buttermilk. And then you want to massage it in. Make sure everything gets all the buttermilk and soak in with all the flavorful spices. And I'm going to put this in the fridge for an hour and I will see you later. is finally ready. Um, during that time I have also uh, prepared for the sauce. So the main ingredients for this sauce is like the tomato, about a pound of it. I chop them up coarsely and one large onion that I chop up coarsely also. And this colorful plate of spices, one tablespoon of minced ginger, one and a half teaspoon of garam masala and one and a half teaspoon of cumin, one teaspoon of garlic, one teaspoon of coriander, one teaspoon of hot chili pepper, one teaspoon of salt and one tablespoon of sugar. And here is one cup of evaporated milk. You can also use heavy cream if you have any, uh, since I don't. So um, I'm using evaporated milk and one tablespoon of butter. And here is the cilantro for garnish when we are done. And I have been heating up my pan it's in medium heat and it's ready to fry this chicken. So let's get started. Okay, I put in about one tablespoon of oil already. Chicken tender is pretty soft and it's easy to cook. You don't need to cook them for a long time. If not, they'll get tough. So I think about three to five minutes. See, this chicken is well done. It has been about four minutes. I'm going to put it on a plate and put it aside and get started on the sauce. I'm ready for the sauce now. Remaining juice that I got from the chicken, I just leave it alone. And I'm going to put in my one tablespoon of butter. I'm still on medium heat. Once the butter is melted completely, I'm going to put in my onions, tomato. It's completely melted. Let's pour in the tomato and onion. Don't worry about how coarsely we are. You know, we have chopped the tomatoes and onion because we in the end we are going to blend everything in the blender to make the sauce very smooth. So now we are ready to mix in with all of our spices. And then mix in really well. We're pouring in our evaporated milk or heavy cream if you have it. So, and we will let it simmer for about 20 minutes. I will sh show it to you again when it's done. Hey, see, look at how soft the tomatoes and onions are. Now it's ready for blending. Be careful because this is really hot, so you need to be really careful to handle it. We're blending and I'm going to push a setting of puree. Look, it is done. It looks like a thick gravy. So we want to pour it back in our pan now. So what I just did is I finished blending the sauce in the blender and you have to be really careful because the sauce is really hot. Please be careful. And then now I'm going to mix the chicken in. I turn my stove back on for medium heat and we're going to mix the chicken in now. Well, I wish you can smell how good it smells, all the spices. 
Oh, the aroma is fantastic. This dish is really good to eat it with rice and homemade non bread is excellent. We would like to simmer it for about 15 minutes. Finally, my Indian butter chicken is all done and it tastes so good with my homemade garlic naan here. If you like a recipe like this, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, please check my description box below. Until then, see you next time. Thank you.